lot of fogs this morning. Not just a whole lot of action in the woods this morning. It's all just a handful. <coughs> I did a little short ladder stand. It wasn't real comfortable to be bow hunting up that close. But I picked that thing up real quick here a while back just to uh, kind of see what the deer were doing. So I got a tree picked out that I'm going to put a lock on. And I got a climber in the back that I'm going to stick up to kind of do the same thing. Just kind of move around and see what the deer are doing and try to get us several locations to bow hunt. Because I'm having a ball bow hunt. And we're going to hunt out of two. Got Rose with us today. Pete's back here. Uh, Pete has done trying to mount Rose and she snapped at him. So he's getting a little lesson this morning that he needed. And Dodge should have gave him the other day for messing with him. He's going to learn to be more social. Rose got to learn to ride a little more. Should have had her out more than a half and a half. A bunch of miles. Ain't she pretty? We gotta get her on the track. We're gonna really start working with her. I'm gonna concentrate on three dogs for sure this winter. Uh, Dodge, Mudbud, and uh, Rose. And I may throw Sadie, my other Jag Terry, in the mix every once in a while. But we are. Hit Rose. She's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Alright y'all, so here's what we're doing now. Got old Rose in here by herself. I decided to leave Pete in the truck. Just bring Rose and get her back used to all the sounds and stuff we do and everything and where he ain't bothering her. So she gotta get over the over a little nervous spell before we worry about tracking her down. It won't take her long. Uh, she loaded right up on the ranger like she is to. She just, she just ain't been out in a while. Boy, she is so pretty. Pretty dog. She'll probably end up being a mama before just real too off the ball. Get her going real good on this blood track. And, uh, but anyway, what we're doing, we got a couple of tubs of corn, two fresh batteries. Oh. Uh, Hadn't been just a whole lot of hog action. Had uh, one group come through, I think it was four or five last or early this morning about it's actually 148. And I know I didn't hear the thing go off, so uh, be working on me on and then I had one hog about a night or two ago stick his head right up towards the panel trap. The deer, of course, they come through and they're eating a lot of corn and the coon and pots and everything else. So we're going to go fresh them up and kind of watch these hogs. It's, we have worked on them pretty hard. Not a lot of root, hardly any root anywhere. Um, I know there's still more here to be caught, but it's kind of more to like, watch them a little bit, be a little more patient now because it's, or I say I will, they get in there, y'all know I'm going to drop them. But, good to know to kind of get a break from them, but we worked on them pretty hard. I'm sure we'll, they'll kind of move back in and out, different hogs and stuff, but we're going to keep them out, keep them fresh, because not much work to it, just kind of keep it going there, and uh, fresh batteries every once in a while. I think I'm liking this camera, that the edit of that video, I think the color's good, and I think the sound's awesome. The only thing that I'm worried a little bit about is the wind noise. 
with y'all. So we got the feeders freshened and the batteries freshened. Rose did good. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna get in the swing of things. Pete's a little aggravated, but he'll get over that too. So what I'm doing now, jumped on the quiet cat, brought my little rifle, just in case we see a hog. I hope this uh, wind reduction is working better. I'm going about 10 miles an hour on the bike. Maybe it'll work, but I'm liking the camera so far. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna ease around. Got the climber put up a while ago too. Y'all will see me hunting out of it for long. Oh. I'm going to ease around on the bike and do a little scouting. Kind of see where else we might want to put a stand. I'm trying to get this place kind of rigged up for bow hunting. But of course you can always rifle hunt out of a bow stand. But that's what this one thing this place is lacking is the bow hunting. Hunting in the woods. Got plenty of shooting houses. But need some more bow stands. Wood stands. trying to get used to this camera but I think I'm gonna like it I think the audio is gonna be good I noticed uh, on the video where I got off and was sawing and talking and doing something whatever it was the audio is gonna I think gonna be way better than the other camera but anyway had a nice little deer hunt this morning saw a few played with Rose a little bit got her in the back uh, she would be a full load up here in the front of this truck but I believe she gets to tracking real good for her reward on the way home for sure. Like we're trying to kill, 
So I made it back. Not gonna get to hunt this afternoon. Got a few things I gotta do. I'm finna I'm watering the mules, the horses right now. I'm finna go feed the dogs and stuff. And I'm finna feed me. I ain't had no lunch. Late lunch. Wild hog summer sausage. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. It is good. I believe I like it better than deer meat. Anyway, about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.